going on? Uh, just in time flipping here. I'm going to do a what sold video. Um, this is going to be my January what sold. Um, I procrastinated doing it, um, but we're going to push through it and uh, just give you some interesting odd items that you could possibly find. Um, I'll give you some sort of angles on finding some of this stuff and where I found it and maybe explore it and I'll just try to give you the most info that I can uh, quickly. Um, highly unlikely that I will make it through this video fast. Um, there's probably about 50 items for January and 50 for February. So I'm going to try and get both those videos done and uh, enjoy the items. All right, let's go. All right, so here we go. This is the uh, first item that I sold for the year. Um, sorry for the shakiness. Um, I'm going to be doing all of this by hand just so the editing's a little faster. Um, this is Starrett measuring tool. Um, it's a center find for like milling milling stuff um, get the, it's only about two inches big um, I have a few of these uh, this one sold because it's a star it um, anything star it will sell that's how you spell it s-t-a-r-r-e-t-t -T -T and company uh, most of that stuff's in Massachusetts Connecticut New York um, they sold stuff everywhere, but um, I'll give you a look at the master, the master log, and we'll go through what happened. So here's my master log. Um, it has all the critical information that you would want to know. Uh, it's sold for asking. I, I won't go and show you any of this after this, but I'll just show you how I, I do it. Um, so I listed it on 12.5 and it sold January 1st. Um, that's the name of it. That's the number, model number. Um, uh, we got it at an estate sale. We sold it for the asking price and we had 53 um, people look at it before it sold. Um, and I, I write down, uh, I, sh I shipped this in a a flat rate priority um, so and, and, I, mar and I, I, I think that was actually a custom box I, I marked that wrong that was probably in a custom box and uh, yeah I just show you w what the shipping cost is and and what I quoted it for and you know and all those numbers so um, that all that information is uh, pretty critical when you have to uh, you know, do all your uh, bookkeeping. So, um, that's that item. Alright, here's the second listing of the sale of the year. Um, it was this Motorola phone. Um, it, it, this was a nightmare of a sale. Um, she asked me if I'd take an offer on it. I had it listed at 99, uh, $19.99. And uh, I took an offer on it, like $10 or something. <clears throat> and um, I don't know, this sale just became a problem. Um, yeah, that was that sale. Uh, th don't buy those. They're they don't work anymore. They're obsolete. You can't run it. <clears throat> it's like a Motorola, even if it's new. So that's that item. Okay, uh, next item. I won't be able to keep track of all. You know, one, two, three. Um, but uh, this is Age of Empires uh, 3 it's for the PC. This is sealed. Um, it's a 2005 edition. Um, I had it listed at $59.99 and it sold for the asking price. Um, I think I got it at a yard sale for like uh, 10 bucks, And uh, it was sealed. I took a gamble on it. Uh, I've had it for a while. And this is when I was just collecting video games only, and 
that's why I bought it. It's a, it's a video game, and uh, a lot of people actually play this game, so. Um, yeah, a lot of return on this one. Um, some good profit. Uh, I had to ship it in a medium flat. I quoted it at $19 shipping. I don't know if you can see that, but it was $19 and 81 cents. Um, so, yeah, expensive game. Um, 372 views on it. Uh, I listed it in November, middle of November, and it sold January. Second. Okay. Next are this these um, Greenlee conduit knockout punches. Um, there was a lot of six of them, and one was incomplete. Uh, we listed it at thirty nine ninety nine, plus seven eighty one shipping. Uh, I took an offer on that um, at twenty five dollars and nineteen cents. Uh, yeah, we shipped it out in a flat rate. Um, I listed it in the middle of November. Had 132 views on it. And uh, took an offer. This is what it looks like. So they make a hole uh, through PVC. That's what it's made to do. Um, yeah. Uh, did some good profit on that one. That was in the uh, Hopkinton sale. Uh, $2 on those. And, uh, yeah, good sale. This next one's uh, definitely a Bolo. Um, it's a HP 11C scientific calculator. Um, pretty rare HP calculator. Uh, you could do a lot on this. I listed it for $119.99. I paid $2 for it at an estate sale. Um, I took a best offer on it for $100. And, uh, let's see. We had 36 views on it. And uh, we listed it on December 30th. And it sold January 2nd. So... It took three days to get it sold. So that's definitely a bolo. Um, look out for those. I'll give you a close-up shot. That's kind of what you... This is Hewlett Packard at the bottom. Um, yeah, weapon C at the top right corner. That's a good one. On the next, uh, that was out of the estate sale. And on the next, it's a pretty interesting sale. Um, it's just a basic uh, Game Boy Advance SP. Uh, it's a black, it's a first edition uh, SP. Uh, we had it listed for $45.99 plus $8.41 shipping. Yeah, a little expensive on the shipping. Um, I showed that it was tested working. It didn't come with anything. No charger, no nothing, no game. Um, $45.99, that's a little expensive. But uh, it had 2,478 views before it sold. So apparently there's a lot of people looking for this um, particular Game Boy. Um, but... I think the price was just w wicked high, where uh, you just had to find the right guy to guy or girl to um, buy it. So it sold for asking. I listed it in uh, November twentieth of last year. Um, so we did some pretty good profit. I, I paid five bucks for it. So yeah, look up, look out for those. Next item is a new old stock stapler from American Airlines. Um, it was probably meant to be uh, for the plane or somewhere in the in the airport for paperwork or whatnot. And it was never used. It was in the plastic wrap. Um, sold that for let's see, 
yeah, we sold that for $29.99 asking, um, plus ship, and it was a good one. Let me give you a close-up shot of it. Sleek, pretty clean. Um, it's branded, you know, American Airlines. So, yeah, that was a good one. Got that at a yard sale. Paid a dollar for it. I yeah, got a couple other things there. That was a good find. I do a lot of staplers and scissors and stuff like that. On the next. So every sale I show you is definitely just a good sale, only because everything in the store is a one-off um, or a lot. So there's not a lot of whatever I'm selling, anyone selling out there. So just keep that in mind. All this stuff's one-offs, but you can find all this stuff. I've found pretty much almost everything that I've sold. I've found it before um, within you know a couple years span. So. Um, just keep that in mind. Um, this uh, 11 mix lot of Machinist uh, parallels. I had those for 50, um, which is a pr that's a pretty good deal. Uh, the shipping 1641. Uh, the parallels. I had 105 people look at them. Uh, we took a best offer at 40, so 10 bucks off. Um, we paid two bucks for them. Uh, we listed them in November 10th, and they sold on the 3rd, so, um, I think I put them in a, I think I put them in a flat rate envelope, so it was probably $9 to ship those, 9 something, so, a little extra profit on that shipping, um, yeah, those are good, always buy your parallels, um, I wouldn't, I mean, you could do a dollar a parallel. That's not too bad. Um, if they stay star it, you definitely want to buy those for a dollar or two. So keep that in mind. This next item is a little mini jeweler's vise. Um, I got this at an estate sale. Um, this sold fast. I had it for thirty-five ninety-nine. Uh, sold asking. I paid two bucks for it. I listed it that day. It sold it sold that day. Um, so yeah, real quick, real quick sale. List it. I think it was gone within a couple hours, and uh, yeah, some good profit on that. Uh, those little mini vices do well. Um, just had some like hammering ends on it. It's only five inches big, so it's a very small little vice. Um, it's a nice one. On to the next. It's another interesting sale, as in most of all of them are. Uh, this is an ink lot I made. Uh, got this yard sale, and uh, the guy was like, oh, these are expired. I was going to buy them, you know, maybe like five bucks or something, but he just said, take them. Um, they're expired. Uh, they're probably not going to sell. So I took them and, uh, yeah, sold them 80 bucks. They sold in seconds. I listed them that day. Yeah, they sold in seconds. It was like an auto buy. So there must have been a bot on uh, these lots or that buyer. Um, I can throw out the buyer's name because they buy a lot of stuff. Um, let me see. Oh, sheesh. Wow. Hmm. I'm not very, very computer friendly. Uh, page views three. We buy empty ink cartridges is the buyer, um, which I'm probably not allowed to do that, but, um, they're, they're a good buyer. Uh, it's, it's free promotion there. Um, so this guy will buy your uh, expired ink. These were very expired. These are like 2010, I think. So um, I'll, 
I'll let you take a look at what it was. It's like pretty much all blacks, 10 blacks, three colors, and some cartridges. So, yeah, that's a good sale. Uh, keep an eye out of that stuff. Next item are these uh, Bauer Vapors. Um, I, I might be saying that wrong, but they're ice skates, vapors. Mm. They're good ones. Uh, I bought those actually for myself at like a yard sale for five bucks for two pairs. Uh, sold the other pair already. Um, did good on them. And uh, these sold for $59.99. I sold them right at the right time, you know. Uh, I listed them that day on the, uh, on the 4th and they sold on the 5th. So I only had 11 views on these. So, um, I had these for sale before with a box, but, um, I had the ad wrong. I think I had them at, like, X70s or something, or X40s. I had a lot of views, and nobody would buy them, and, uh, I listed them correctly, and, uh, they sold in second. Good, good sale. $59.99, and, uh... I did a custom box and uh, made three bucks on the shipping. Yeah, it was a good deal. On the next. This next item's a Rob Sorby um, cast steel chisel. It's a two inch. It's a good chisel. Um, I think this was a little expensive to ship it, but um, it sold. Uh, it took Took, I think I took an offer on this. Yeah, I took an offer, twenty bucks, um, on this Sorby. Had it listed at that. Um, I listed it at the beginning of December. Paid two bucks for it, and we took the offer. Um, yeah, it was a good sale. We'll go for them Sorbies. On to the next. Next we got this Browning um, aluminum right angle swivel. It's like a gearbox. Um, not sure what it was for. I just listed it and wrote it for parts not working, though it did work. And I wrote in the description that it does work. Um, that's my way around um, just not getting a return. Because um, if you write for parts, they're, the buyers just can't, they can't return it. Um, but I will describe whether or not if it works or not, it's just the way around of the return. Um, so, uh, yeah, it sold. Let's see. Uh, I had 23 views on it. Uh, I listed it December 5th and I uh, took an offer of 22 bucks. I had it at $29.99. I took an offer at $22. And uh, made some money on the shipping. And, uh, yeah, it's just a good item. Uh, probably won't find another one, but on to the next. Next is an old uh, 90 degree bullnose planer. Um, it's a good one. It was pretty rusted out, but it was complete. It had all the knobs. It had, you know, the... Uh, the blade it was complete um, got 60 for that I think I had it yeah I had it at 69.99 I sold it for 60 uh, 254 views and uh, yeah it's good I got a yard sale two bucks up for those, those 90s. They should call it Rabbit. Call it Rabbit Plane. Any, any kind of shape like that is a rabbit. Next, we got a first gen iPod, iPod Nano. Um, original box. I just think the, uh, the extra stuff included was not opened. Uh, let's see. Okay, uh, 
Sold that for asking, $69.99 plus ship. Uh, no problems, paid five bucks for it at a yard sale. And uh, that's a great item. You can find them like that with the box. Let's see. With the box, all the paperwork, and all the accessories. And it's got to work. And it's got to be in really good condition to fetch that price. But um, yeah, A. Plus. I'd buy another one again any day. On to the next. Next, we've got an Atlas Shop Equipment Catalog, number 28. Um, this is a really good item. It's sold fast. Uh, it's paper. I listed it for 20 bucks. Um, it's a 1938 issue, uh, but it's just got all the all the machines that were sold that year. And, uh, yeah, good condition. Shipped it for you know a couple bucks. And uh, sold fast. It, 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 li it listed it on the 11th and it sold on the 13th. So, two days. Two days to sell that. So, on to the next. Buy that shop equipment um, books. Next, we get a South Bend lathe wrench. Um, this is the wrench for a lathe, standard. Uh, this wrench is numbered. Uh, so that's that's good for you when you want to look it up um, You can see by the pics. It's a very small wrench uh, Without asking $23.99 plus uh, like five five something ship You know, that's a that's a great item always buy that South Bend If you know that name South Bend All right, on to the next Next we got this Minolta Super 8 uh, handheld uh, was tested working basically just turned it on and it worked um, yeah sold it for asking $49.99 plus $12.81 ship I got this for free from Steve to do some uh, tree work uh, sold super fast and uh, packed very easy uh, no accessories included just needed to work Sold. It's another quite interesting sale. These are all um, machinist gear um, cutting tools. Um, basically, they're shaped like a gear. A picture. Shaped like gears. These are all brown and sharp. Um, that's a Rhode Island company. And uh, there was a couple Morse in there, but uh, most of them were all brown and sharp. And uh, 33 of them sold for, it says 200, I took a best offer at, oh, it says 250, I took a best offer at 200, um, we paid two bucks for those at the uh, Hopkinton sale, and uh, yeah, some great profit, those are pretty much a bolo, um, I knew when I did the machinist drawer pull, Drawer pull is when you just open a drawer of machinist tools and you look inside, um, you know, at a sale. And uh, I knew from the drawer pull that these were going to be uh, really good. There was some other good, really good um, bits in there, but these did really well. So look for them uh, cutting in involute pay a buck each on those if they were brown and sharp for sure so on to the next next we have just a basic wood box um, that you know you put a tool inside um, put the measurements on the de description and let it fire away uh, it wasn't marked or anything so the I didn't know what tool went in there, but uh, all the edges of the box were dadoed. And it had some, like, you know, felt or whatever in there, some foam. And uh, took some measurements. So, yeah. Good, good dadoed edges and stuff. 
you can tell a good crafted box from a bad one. But uh, $29.99, 1281 ship. 67 views on that. We paid $2 on it. And uh, yeah, sold. On to the next. Try to fire through some of these a little faster. This is a KD tool, Nutcracker. 715. I had it listed at $9.99 plus ship. Uh, I paid two bucks for it. Sold asking. Gone. Tool. Next we have a Rockwell Shaper Fence. Uh, $39.99. Um, it's a kind of interesting tool. Uh, probably won't find too many of these. Um, but got this at the upholstery sale in Framingham, paid two bucks, uh, sold asking, pretty quick, 43 uh, views on it, and uh, sold, good tool. So we got a Pioneer XM to go, portable XM satellite radio, uh, I think this is the one that has like unlimited XM, it's just like integrated into it. Um, if you have all the receiver parts or whatever. Uh, $35.99, sold for asking. Uh, I marked it as I paid two bucks, but I honestly don't remember where I got it. Um, and I, I probably did pay two bucks for it. If, I think it was in a box, and the box was wet. And uh, I tested it, and it still worked good. So, sold. No complaints. On the next. Next, we have two uh, antique steel pulleys, like Cast Forge. Um, I sold these for 20 so I took a best offer at $20. Um, these are on a private pick. It's about how big they were. And, uh, yeah, they're good to make something, you know. And, uh, I don't really let those go by for a couple bucks, you know, two, two bucks, maybe three, but those do good. On to the next. Next, we got a Durkee uh, four-track cribbage board. Um, I found this before, and I've also sold this one and then found another one the next day. So these do good, and they're very common. Uh, twenty five ninety nine for that one. I had a little hard time shipping it because it is a little big and it's made of wood, so I wanted to protect it and uh, because somebody's going to use that. So it was complete. Um, paid two bucks for it. Um, lots of interest. Had a lot of in inquiry about this uh, item. So uh, yeah, keep an eye out on them uh, cribbage boards, especially that one. That's a Four track, so four players. Next, so we got a vintage Weller soldering iron. It's like a soldering station. Um, let me give you a close up of this. All right, sorry for the shakage, but that's what it looks like. Soldering station. Um, it worked. Um, the some of the wires had some fraying and. Uh, so, you need a little TLC, but took our offer on it. Uh, I had it listed at $39.99. Took an offer at $29.99. And uh, I had a lot of inquiry on this, and I was just tired of getting lowballed on it for like $18. So, um, I sold it to, to the guy for $29.99. Good deal. On to the next. Next, we got this Panasonic Travel Vision, the TR1020P. Uh, radio, TV, all, you know, full unit combo. This was interesting because I got it at the estate sale. Um, the box was missing the unit. So there's a unit in here, um, right here. So the box is missing this unit, and I paid three bucks for all the stuff inside, and I was like, oh, I got hosed, and I paid three bucks for this unit, and I cleaned it all up, I put everything into this um, box, and I included some uh, 
current iPod headphones and uh, made a listing. And I thought I was going to do awful on this. I even said it in the video. Sold for asking, very fast. $89.99 plus $16.91 ship. I listed it on December 7, no, I listed it on January 17th, and it sold on the 19th, so, sold in two days at that crazy price for an obsolete machine, but somebody wanted it. Uh, keep your eye out for those on to the next. Got this uh, David Gilmore DVD. I got this at the flea market when I set up. Uh, I set up next to the storage unit guy. And he does a ton of storage units. Um, that's his full time gig. And uh, I got this from him with uh, all the. Um, I think I did it a haul video. Got a nice butcher block. Um, three rare Pink Floyd t-shirts, a bunch of cards. I think it was at that flea market. I, did, I, I bought it live on, on, on the cam. And, uh, yeah, you can go back and watch that one if you want. But, uh, this was a good sale. Uh, $12.99, you know. I think I paid like a buck, buck or two for it. But, it was sealed. Sold. Next, we got some Jesco Archie figures. Um, just a pair of them. I lauded them together because uh, the shipping and how much it was worth. And we had them listed at fifteen ninety nine, and I took a offer on them at nine twenty nine, and I made like thirty cents on the shipping. But uh, listed them at the beginning of the year, January first, and they sold on the twentieth. Okay item, not the greatest, but on the next. Next we got these uh, National Baseball Hall of Fame Bronze Galleries, uh, one, five, and seven. So from an estate sale. I paid twenty-two fifty um, from what the estate sale said, like on my log, like what I actually paid for the items. Uh, so twenty-two fifty for the three of them, and uh. List them on January 4th, and they sold on the 20th. Um, they were complete. We sold them for a hundred. We took a best offer at a hundred, and uh, I had eight views. So eight views in a couple months. Not many. I mean, a couple weeks. Uh, not many people looking at this, but somebody did buy it for a hundred. Obviously, it's a little priced a little high, and uh, I'm sure when that all the sales pan out through the sale, I'm sure the twenty two fifty was not actually what we paid, but would be okay if we did. So I would buy these again um, at that price. So good sale. On to the next. Next, we got a Radio Shack tape recorder, the CTR one one two, new in box. Sold for $35.99. Um, I think I got that on a state sale. Um, yeah, sold sold pretty quick. I listed it in the middle of January and sold a week later. It's new sealed. Um, and they needed it for immediate delivery. So, yeah. Sold. So we have a VHF, uh, UHF, FM antenna. Uh, made by Radio Shack. Uh, this sold quick, $9.99. Yeah, probably should have priced it at maybe like 14 bucks or something, but um, yeah, it was c complete, tested, and worked, and it was good. Good sale. I don't think I paid much for it. Mm, I have a zero, only because I think it was inside a bunch of other stuff, so good sale. Sold. Next we have Shadow Warrior 2 for the PC, uh, Collector's Edition, Special Reserve Games, uh, SRG. It's number 77 of 1000. Uh, unbelievable game. Uh, surprised it didn't get all the rave it should have, but uh, sold this collector for $65.99. It's 
kind of like an RA thing. Um, we bought it for twenty nine ninety nine, so still got one of one more we got to get rid of. But we bought these in like a bulk package. We bought two lots which had the PS4 game that we were collecting, so it was just cheaper. So I, this one should pay for both lots. But yeah, goodbye. On to the next. All right, bad dudes. NES manual. A uh, dollar ninety nine and an auction. Um, this was, I want to say a bad sale, but put a bunch of manuals for one ninety nine on an auction each, and uh, this is the only one that sold. I had two eighty one on to ship it, and I tried to, not taking like a shady route or anything. It was like just pretty much putting stamps on it with like personally mailing it. Um, it was my first item I've ever had returned back to me. Um, improper um, postage so um, I put it back into a, a better I put it in a box like pretty, pretty much two pieces of cardboard taped together and uh, shipped it actually for w what I quoted so that worked out and um, I was just testing the waters with these just to see how to ship some of these and how it might pan out to ship something that big so like a postcard kind of about postcard size so um, yeah just testing the waters on shipping at this point with with some of these uh, so on to the next next is a basic machinist drilling bit lot um, 20 pieces for 20 bucks so a buck a bit um, plus shipping and uh I got neutral feedback on this guy. Um, he said they weren't sharp. Um, so I, I I emailed him and was like, hey, you know, you bought uh, 20 used bits at $20. Um, so, I mean, I wouldn't expect all of them to be sharp, right? I don't know. Uh, he said he couldn't retract his uh, comment, but uh, I'm sure he could have. Um, so, got these from the Hawkington sale. I'm just kind of rambling on that, but uh, 34 views on this. I listed them in the middle of December. Um, yeah, I, I got a bunch of these. It's like, I don't know, it's 10, 10 lots I have. So, should do good on these. Just. Uh, that guy didn't help by commenting that my bits aren't sharp um, where you're buying used bits um, so that didn't hurt my sales on bits I sold plenty of bits after the sale with him leaving uh, neutral feedback so uh, neutrals okay it's just it's not you know good I guess so on the next so we got this vintage double trumpet air horn car truck train RV boat hot rod rat rod um, 89.99 I listed it and sold it super fast I paid three bucks for it it wasn't tested I listed it I think it sold oh, I wrote a log it says sold in one minute so it took a minute to sell this um, we bought this at the low estate sale I haven't really tried to process a lot of that stuff, but there's some stuff listed. Not not much, but this is maybe one of the only things that sold so far. So that was a good sale. Recoup a hundred bucks out of there. Yeah, keep an eye on those. I'll let you have a zoomed-in shot. So how I could find this particular um, horn is from the back. Well, this picture is going to help you. Um, mainly with the double and then it has the uh, the connection right there in the middle um, with this particular arching and then those holes and the other back picture right there that's what we want so it looks like that on the back a good one if you can find it to look like that 
that's probably the same model that this is um, from my diligent research. It only took maybe like a half hour to research that item too, so not too bad. All right, sold. On to the next. So we got a basic Star Fox sale here. Um, found this maybe like a couple days before I listed it, and and just listed it. Uh, found it on the twenty, listed it on the twenty sixth, but I think I found it like a couple days before that, and then it sold on the twenty seventh. So. Ten bucks. Um, I paid ten bucks for the whole lot of games. There's some other really good ones in there, and I think this was the cheapest game in the pile. So, yeah, good deal. On to the next. Oh, where I got it? I got it at our source. We got it from the source. Go find your sources. All right. To the next. Looks we got this Panasonic DMR. Um, a little complication through this sale a little bit. Not too bad. Could have gone way worse. Um, I paid 25 for it. We had 42.51 to ship it and it was listed at 8180. Um, I took a I, I'm not sure what the offer was, but basically I had to credit him $48 back because the remote didn't work and we had a binding agreement for like a discount so he got a discount of like I think half shipping I think I cut the shipping in half for him and then I had to buy him a remote so not too bad we easily made a hundred bucks on this unit maybe more so just look for them DMRs it's a good one um, I think it only had uh, 65 views. It was listed on January 18th and it sold on the 27th. So, quick sale. It's DMI sell. For the next, the DMR we got at a estate sale. Um, the Speco speaker selector, five channel, uh, $22.99. Sold asking. Um, this was up for a while, uh, two months. And, uh, it was not tested and it had 35 views sold so we got this Apple keyboard um, well, I paid a uh, two bucks for this I did not test it and uh, it sold 22 22 bucks um, they offered 21.99 for it so a dollar off uh, it's a good one the old big chunky apple. Big chunky apple. The next. Alright, back to these index plates. Um, I relisted the index plates after the return. Um, I got these at the Hock Hockington State Sale, uh, two bucks. I listed them at uh, 179. So I listed them a little more than what I had them listed before. I took an offer at a hundred. In shipping, um, made ten bucks on the shipping. Sixty-seven views on it, and uh, yeah, took uh, three weeks to sell again. So not too bad. Sold. So we got Sonic Three. I found this at a thrift store, and then listed it the next day, and it sold pretty quick. Uh, I listed it on the 26th and it sold on the 29th. So that was three days. Uh, $24.99. I paid a dollar for it. Um, they thought it was a VHS tape. Bought four, four video games, all for a dollar each. And they thought they were all VHS. I didn't bother because uh, I was, they already rung it up and they told me how much. and. I mean, what am I going to say? Uh, you're undercharging me? I don't know. So, Sonic, Sonic 3, nice. 25 uh, plus ship, sold. So we have Doom for the any uh, oh, the SNES. Uh, I listed it at 27.99. It sold pretty quick, a couple days. Uh, let's see how many views we have on this. Sorry, uh, six views. Listed on the 26th, it sold on the 29th. 
uh, untested. I didn't test it. Um, and, uh, yeah, I got this from the source with those other games for uh, 10 bucks. So. Let's find out next. So we have this Fluger, uh, 1495 and a half. Fly fishing reel, uh, listed at 1999. Uh, it sold pretty quick. Um, all these were selling uh, the same day, pretty much. Um, this is the one that I got crossed with the next one. I'll show you the next one in the same thing here. Let's get down here. So, uh, this is the other. Um, Real and it was sold for $16.99. And uh, this is Bob's reel, and the other reel is Mike's reel. So I sent this reel to Mike, and Bob got Mike's reel. So Bob had to send this reel to Mike, and Mike had to send his reel back to Bob. And both parties said, Don't worry about the shipping, and we got it. And they both left good feedback. Crazy. It's <laughs> actually the first item that I've ever gotten um, mixed up with and I'd shipped you know 10 10 items out at once and you know I don't know 10 video games at once and not gotten confused so it happens um, check your boxes check your labels check your uh, shipping orders avoid that uh, double check we'll avoid that but uh profit on all of them around I got uh, I paid 30 bucks for 10 reels um, so no, no problems there not sure what the numbers are on these but yeah on to the next next is my personal Sega Master System um, complete in box um, one to two to three owners tops um, super condition um, no scratches it's it's mint I listed it at 250, which I thought was pretty fair. Um, it was probably worth a little bit more. Some would say a little less, but 250 with 41, no, 4551 to ship it. Um, and I mean, it was mint, besides like a couple crinkles in the box. And uh, the guy got it. He was more than happy to have it. Um, I included a couple items because that was my logistic for a um, um, in my description I wrote to the um, customer that just buys it now and no no hassle no hassle buyer and pays will have I'll include some free stuff so I included like three free games um, for different consoles um, just a little mix and some uh, old paperwork and stuff like that and he, he was more than happy so sold um, what did I pay for it um, took this on a trade I think I traded I, just, I traded like one turbo game for this and like I don't know a bunch of Sega CD games or something I traded like cash, I don't know. I really did good on this sale, regardless, because um, the uh, turbo games were basically free. So, yeah, on to the next one. Well, we're getting close to the end. Um, appreciate you guys sitting through any of this. This is, but you're gaining some knowledge. You're gaining knowledge. Um, so I sold six vintage upholstery um, scissors and a lot. Some of these were wise, some of them weren't. Uh, $39.99. Um, yeah, out the door. Um, no problems with that sale. Um, a lot of inquiries on these scissor lots. And I have a couple more. And I have a couple more I need to make. So um, I got these at the upholstery um, sale. It's an estate sale at a old upholstery shop 
And uh, yeah, they sold pretty quick. Should do pretty good on that. And the next, we got a 1998 WWF WrestleMania, the Legacy VHS box set. Um, paid five bucks for these at Savers, and we were just actually talking about this the other day. Um, about how I uh, found this at Savers and sold it for $39.99 um, plus ship and uh, 74 views on it and I've listed it in November put the mid-November and it sold at the end of January um, sold asking good sale I'll, I'll try to find that again Sega Master System Super Tennis uh, he sold that for, t -t 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 took an offer, $13.99. I uh, had 32 views on it. It's listed in November, and this was through uh, the Turbo Trade um, and like just trades on Turbo Games. Um, but, uh, yep, yeah. and a good sale. Next. All right, and the final sale of the month was the vintage Hot Wheels Sizzler track in parts. Um, I had this in the back for a while, probably like a year or two. I've brought in this to the flea market and tried offloading it for like 20 bucks, no, no bites. Uh, so I just listed it, $59.99 with a pretty expensive shipping, $38.91. And uh, it sold pretty quick. Uh, let's see. I had 173 people look at it. I listed it on January 17th, and it sold on the 30th. No, it sold on the 31st. Uh, yeah, good sale. Uh, what, can, what else can I say about this? Yeah, that's about it. That's a good track massive we've set this up at the flea market before uh too it's it's pretty big but uh yeah keep a look out for that sizzler hot wheel red line um some of them sizzler cars can go for pretty good money too uh yeah so those were the sales for uh january um i hope you enjoyed some of that interesting stuff <laughs> um but you gotta you gotta know what you're looking for um, I just showed you a bunch of stuff that you can sell that you might not know that you could sell and um, that stuff sells quick um, all that stuff that I just showed you does does good um, it's very good one-offs you're gonna find them um, yard sale and estate sale and uh, you can find them on Craigslist. You, you can you can just find that stuff. You get to really look though, um, and uh, I'm glad you made it through. You made it down to the spot. Um, so I'll do February a little sooner, and um, some pretty good sales in February. That's a little slower um, than my January. My January was pretty good. Um, but February's not over, and I just started listing a pile of other stuff over here. A pile of stuff there, and yeah, we've, we've pushed out another, like, at least 150 listings. Um, so, gotta keep processing, and you gotta keep listing. So, keep your prices right, and uh, keep sourcing, and always... You know, look for a bargain and uh, go to your sources, do your diligent research, and uh, just go to the estate sale and just see. And they might not have taken a picture of something that you're interested in and that you can sell. They might have a ton of it. You just never know. Um, that's that's what I've learned doing this. You just really never know when your opportunity is ever going to strike on anything making 10 bucks to making 10,000 bucks uh, it's 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 all in the timing um, you just got to be physically prepared and ready you know you want to have a clean cleaned out car you, you want to have a bunch of stuff in your car when you go and sourcing because when you find a ton of stuff and your car's 
jam-packed with stuff, then you run into a problem. Just stuff like that. So, um, cash is king, and <laughs> I can go on and on. But uh, have a good day, and uh, keep picking. Hope you guys find some good stuff. Today is Sunday, and uh, there should be some stores open. There should be some stuff. People firing something off today. All right. Flea market's coming up. Peace.